Precision International is proud to have been named a GM Supplier of the Year for three consecutive years by General Motors. Precision is in the bag. Okay, I had to take care of something in the shop, but we're back now on the bench. We're going to work on a 5 on 110 address a couple of issues. Right at you. Today we're going to address an issue that can be both troublesome and very expensive if not handled correctly when servicing the 50110 series of transmissions. These units are in heavy duty service vehicles, trucks that are driven hard daily and driven usually until the transmission stops to function. The transmission fluid cooler shares space in front of the vehicle's radiator. This shared space has gotten much smaller from years past. Today we have intercoolers, AC condensers, power steering coolers, and or engine oil coolers. This shared space and diminished airflow can adversely affect transmission temperature, which can cause transmission venting issues. An easy way now to check transmission fluid temperature is with a laser activated temp sensor. These are very accurate and can monitor fluid temperature both going in and out of the transmission cooler. ATF leaking out of the vent on a 50110, usually under a load, is a common issue. A couple of burps of ATF onto a red hot exhaust pipe will make a cloud of white smoke. If enough fluid burps out of the unit, the transmission will manifest driving concerns. Fluid level is critical in a 50110. You do not want to have the transmission over full. Always check a 50110 transmission fluid with the vehicle on level ground and always let the vehicle idle for at least 10 minutes prior to checking the transmission fluid so everything is settled out perfectly. We can't have this transmission over full. A little as a half a quart will cause a problem. When we come back, we will show you steps you can take to avoid inventing 5 on 110.